Today is the first day of spring. Do you want to see how I created this resin window? And I don't know if you'll be seeing it today, probably not. But come into my studio and I will show you just how I created this. Hi everyone. I have bought this hoop from Michael's. I think it's a tapestry hoop. I've laid it on contact paper because I don't have a silicone tray big enough. It is quite big. So what I'm going to do to begin with is um, laying it on the shiny side of the contact paper, by the way, because I want the resin to be shiny. And this is going to be a window hanging picture, a window into spring. Um, I've bought these flower, oh, that's for something else. That's for Valentine's Day. I bought these flowers from Michael's and this is my springtime window. Let's just see if my heat gun is hot enough yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I seal all the way around the outside of the hoop. So it sticks to the contact paper. I've surrounded the entire outside with um, hot glue because this is going to have a spring theme. I thought I would put some green cut glass around the edge on the inside. And just finish doing that. And I've already mixed my resin, which is Naked Fusion resin. And um, what I might have to do, well, actually, no, I won't. What I'm going to do is um, drill a small hole in the wood so that I can use that for hanging in a window. A window into spring. Oh, can't wait for spring. Okay, I didn't mix up a huge amount of resin. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to pour this in the middle. Just need a very thin layer at this point. Underneath you can see that even the contact paper from where it's been rolled has some divots in it. So, which is highly annoying actually, but what I will do is, um, when this side is full, I will flip it over and sand the other side down and do a final coat of resin on the other side, which will make it completely flat. It's completely dry now, and now I have the task of getting it off the contact paper, and the tricky bit is going to be the glue, not the resin. So um, I'm just going to take a knife around part of the glue, just to loosen it. Hot glue is amazingly strong. Uh, all right. Let's see if that does the trick. Let's 
I don't know, I'll probably have to go around and sand the edge. Get the glue off. Okay. it all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, into my outside studio which is really cold and yucky and I'm going to sand the edges and I'm also going to sand the back what I've done is I have sanded this completely to get rid of some of those ripples and I have mixed resin using my respirator. Um, it may look like horrible right now. I have masked the back completely. I've also painted um, the frame white to make it look more like a little window. And then I have an abundance of these really cute flowers and leaves. So I'm going to get ahead and arrange my spring flowers in some kind of decorative order. Looking through the window, whoever's looking forward to spring, I know I am. And there are signs of it already here in Connecticut. The sky is blue and the sun is shining. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this decorated. My flowers are in position and I'm gently going to first of all drizzle the resin over the flowers because I don't want to interrupt the position of them after I carefully arranged where I want them and you'll see that the sanded down resin that looks all kind of scratchy and nasty will turn beautifully clear again. And I might have to put another layer of resin on top of this once this is dry because obviously I want the flowers to be through the window, like behind the glass. That's why I'm using Naked Fusion resin, by the way, because it is so clear. I don't know if you saw the previous video or I don't know what order I'm putting this in but anyway video 104 and I made a water splash and the sculpture is like it's like glass it's so clear and I've worked with many many resins and I think this is the clearest I've used and there is a discount to using this through me. I'll put the link in the description below. I also have a butterfly, which I want probably heading towards one of the flowers. I might have to poke her wings down. I don't know why I'm calling her her. She could be a him or someone can comment and tell me if butterflies a boy and girl. All right, let's fill this up. I want the resin to flow over the sides as well. Yeah, I'm going to do another coat tomorrow.
which will completely cover everything. I mean, I'm not going to be too, too much of a fuss pot about the odd crystal poking through. Okay, I have one more stage that I'm going to do, and this is going to be my last stage. I decided that this side of the window I just wasn't happy with. So if you can see, I have sanded it down and um, you can decide which is the front or back. Um, there isn't really a front or back because, you know, in the window it's going to spin around. So I've lightly sanded it. I've taped that side. I've, I'm going to set it up high because after about um, four or five hours when it's almost set up, I'm going to peel that backing off. So I've mixed the resin and I'm going to just dribble that on and let it go down the sides. And the reason I'm going to peel the tape off is because you can kind of get into a vicious circle of, well, this is going to drip down and then I'm going to have to do the other side again and then I'm going to have to do this side again and then it like becomes an absolute nightmare. So I'm just going to evenly scrape this. And then I'll go around the edges with my fingers and make sure that's all even. And take my, uh, I think I'll probably take my, my heat gun to this. I mixed up approximately five ounces of resin just for this last coat. So I'll put that there. Let's plug in my heat gun. And I've been away. I was away for a week in the Caribbean and I came back and I found I've only got one set of gloves. These are dirty. And it was weird because the virus hadn't really well, just about started when I left and come back and it's chaos. It wasn't even on the island I was on. Now it's got the resin warmed up. I'm just going to make sure it's all around the edges. Missing a bit there. I put it on a lazy Susan. I'm not going to do any more lazy Susan friend, uh, jokes. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. Simple minds have simple humour. Okay, I'm going to cover this up super carefully. I'm going to just zap some air bubbles. And we will come and uh, off camera, I'll take that tape off. I will set my alarm for four hours, probably again for an hour after that and come back, take it off and show you the finished result in the morning. See you manana. So thanks for watching. The birds are chirping in the background and they're hoping some daffodils will soon pop up as am I. So I hope you like it, try it. You can hang it outside in a tree because it's covered in resin or hang it in your window in your house. See you in my next video. Bye.